Vaughn. And Vaughn will get an early touch and a huge hole for Keyshawn Vaughn. Vaughn into the secondary and finally taken down by Christian Fulton. Play clock almost ran out on him. Lipscomb open on the out route. It's a first down for Vanderbilt. It's Neal who keeps it. And Neal bends it back inside the 10. With... Neal hands it off this time. And Vaughn will carry some dudes with him all the way to the goal line. And he's in. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. And the extra effort from the fifth-year senior, Keyshawn Vaughn, has Vandy on the board first. Great effort by Vanderbilt offensive lineman getting behind Keyshawn and pushing him into the end zone there. Grant Miller, Sage Young, the center and left guard. Burrow facing pressure. Gets it off complete on a slant to Jamar Chase. Chase still on his feet. And finally thrown down for a gain of 20. So I if you sit back and give him space, he'll do just what he did last play. Here's Edward Zolaire with a big gain. He's down the numbers. And finally tracked down from behind. Team right now, as you see, no running back in the backfield. And a touchdown catch by Justin Jefferson. Quick tempo that time. Has 20 seasons with at least five touchdowns in the team's first four games to the air again. And this is Jamar Chase. He's in a chase. And he will take it all the way. One play, 6.64 yards. LSU looks unstoppable. What is going on here? Look at this. Soft cover two zone there. Chase just splits it. We had a long talk with Jason Tarver yet. Vandy keeps it on the ground and no chance to escape the clutches. Things are moving fast for him, but I bet he's having a blast. Pocket pressure on Burrow. Gets rid of it for a first down. Plenty more. Terrace Marshall across midfield and into Vandy territory. Finding space, creating a throwing lane for a big play. LSU's receivers wide open. Vandy can't tackle. Going to be a long day back there. That's Terrace Marshall for 20. Burrow gives it up. Allaire's got the first down. He's got the touchdown. From nine yards out. Who's wide receivers versus Alabama's wide receivers. Riley Neal delivers a strike to Kalijah Lipscomb. He makes Stingley miss and he takes it to the 40-yard line. Here's Vaughn. Bounces to the outside. Hit behind the line. And he will not get there. Jacob Phillips and Christian Fulton with the stop. He'll keep it on. Burrow to the outside. It's another first down. It's Terrace Marshall. Pressure coming from the edge. Burrow goes that direction. And he completes it for another big game. This is Terrace Marshall Jr. High. LSU averaging 17 yards per play. Add to that with this touchdown catch from Jamar Chase. It goes for 25. Vaughn is the running back. Blitz up the middle. Out to the outside. It's a first down for Kalijah Lipscomb. And is working on his masters in marketing here. This time it's Cam Johnson. He gets past the first. Takes it inside the 30. 28-yard gain. Neal steps up in the pocket. Gets pressured. And gets taken down. An LSU sack. Those have been a rarity this season. Meyer, the long snapper. Harrison Smith holds. And that one is good. Tyrion Davis-Price. Play action, Burrow over the middle where he would turn his back to the line. That time he got crushed, lobs it up, and it's a leaping catch goal for a first down with a flag to Chase, and Burrow gets up with a flag in front of him. Mm. Burrow retreats, and then flips it out of bounds. And it gets intercepted. No, incomplete. Burrow went all the way to the wall by the Vandy bench. They whistled that thing dead at the 14-yard line. It is no return for Andre Mintz. Never reestablished himself. He stepped out of bounds. You see, and he jumps from out of bounds to in. From 25. So far tonight, today either. A third down, LSU keeps it on the ground. Tempo for LSU. What a move on the outside by John Emery Jr. They rush three. 
Spy Burrow and on the run. A crossing route complete. For a first down, Stephon Sullivan. Since the first quarter at Texas two weeks ago. This is going to be a big one. It's Jamar Chase again. Chase will take it to the house. A 51-yard catch and run for Jamar Chase. The competitor picking Vandy apart and then afterwards letting him know about it. Come from the edge. Ball lost. Alaire can't find it. It's in the end zone and recovered by Vanderbilt. Elijah McAllister, the red shirt freshman with his first career score. Checks to his zone away from the pressure. Just maybe a little low, but uh, that's that's got to be one that time. Oh, onside, onside kick. kick for Vandy to start the half. It's recovered by LSU. And the Tigers have a chance to return it. It is down to the two surprise surprise it's 44 the other way for the Tigers <laughs> like I had to <laughs> and that's been done Joe Burrow passes the chips right into the end zone and it's Tracy McMath from six yards out Vanderbilt will run it on first down and lose two yards but it looked like an ugly costly injury at the time this is Cam Johnson and Stingley can't bring him down, trying to rip the ball out. And Johnson will turn it into another 15 yards. Game. Vaughn breaks through, makes the safety miss, and wins his foot race. Keyshawn Vaughn is off on a 52-yard scoring run. He's got Chase to thank for it. Here's Edwards Allaire, stellar step to the outside, and he takes it for a first down. Hilaire needing just one on fourth and short. Ground game. Turns into a first down. That's eight for the Baton Rouge native Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Roll right now. Pocket holds. Another end zone shot. Beautiful pitch and catch. It's Jamar Chase again. His third touchdown of the game. Ball more accurately and better because of that. Pressure on Neal. Can't escape the pocket. He gets popped from behind. It's Zamone Clark who's playing in Michael Divinity's spot. He comes up with LSU's second sack of the game. Well, there's some crisp looking place. Blocked by LSU. And now they add a special teams touchdown. It's that man again. It's Baskerville who recovered the onside kick. And now he comes in with the punt block. They did last year. Left side of your screen. No, right up the middle. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, 41's got his eyes inside. And he has been yearning to have a healthy defense. Neal goes deep. It is intercepted. It's the freshman, Derek Stingley Jr. He's won, and eventually you just knew that he was going to come down with the big play. He's that talented. They're going to go play action. Neal back the opposite way. He's got Pinckney wide open. And Pinckney get, finally gets tripped up. A little bit yesterday, not uncommon. Here's Kalaja Lipston. Nice move. And he dances into the end zone for an 18-yard touchdown for Bandy. Neal chased. And he gets trapped at the one. Damone Clark was waiting when Neal turned the corner. Deleted. Brennan looking that way. That's complete. First down, McMath. Here's Emery, and the freshman is in. Here for Vandy and Deuce Wallace. From exit 407 to the West End, and that one's intercepted by Jacoby Stevens. Put a cape on that dude. What a play by Stevens inside. If your receiver does not get outside leverage, that ball's going to be thrown on a line because he's now five yards closer. His beard. <laughs> That's too. He's, he's he's more of an East Nashville. Yes. Kind of yeah. Yep. Yeah. Intercepted by Vanderbilt. Randall Haney, and he's going to take it all the way back to the end zone. But there's a flag on the play. That's now.
Marlowe again. Back to the drawing board for this Vanderbilt defense. They allow 599 total yards today. They have allowed more than 500 yards in each of their first three games this season. LSU's record-setting offense continues to impress. The Tigers scored a school record 28 points in the first quarter. On the way to 66 this afternoon. Coach O and his squad will get back to Red Stick early. They can kick back and watch more football and know that they are one of college football's elite.